Hello everybody and happy Mother's Day! I had to do this video today to tell you that you are appreciated and loved for all that you do. Even if you are a aunt, grandmother, a foster mother, or anyone who plays the role of mother to our lovely children. It is a rewarding job and sometimes it is a difficult job. I heard a woman say once that it was motherhood is an impossible task for any normal human being. Well, we must be subnormal. <laughs> but I want to share a couple of stories with you today about my mother and then my role as a mother. My mother canned preserves for us to eat. She was a hard worker. She had a garden. She cooked and cleaned. And she, when I came home from school, she had all of my clothes in the hallway, all pressed ironed and pretty for me to wear to school the next day, fix us lunches, did all of the things that mothers are known to do. I remember once my father told me that my mother grabbed me and my brother off of the couch and ran out of the house after noticing that it was a fire that my father had started in the backyard and the fire was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So my mom, afraid that it would be too close to the house, grabbed us up, snatched us and ran out of the house. And my father had admitted, said, maybe I did get that fire a little bit too close to the house. It was burning trash or something. So that's what mothers do. They protect us. And the story that I want to share about uh, motherhood with me and my daughter was when she was about three years old. And she was sitting on my mother's step in the country and she had gotten a piece of chewing gum. I think it was bubblicious or something. And she was about four years old maybe and she said after noticing that she had no more gum in the packet she said I'm gonna get some more after I get my check. You could tell that she had been around my mother who received social security checks in the mail so it was just so hilarious that she would say that and she did not have a smile on her face but I kind of cracked up at that <laughs> and that was just so funny and uh, as a mother I did put my daughter in a lot of different activities you know just not I didn't put her in uh, ballet I put her in karate instead because I wanted her to learn to grow up to be a strong a woman who was able to defend herself if had to. So, mothers, we are just so extraordinary. We do so many things. We are protectors. We are nourishers. We organize. We problem solve. We maintain relationships. And this time on Mother's Day, I want all of you mothers out there to promise that you will take the day off for yourself. Find a place of comfort, some place to cleanse your mind, do some yoga, go to the spa, have those nails done. You might want to read a book, write in a journal, mail off that letter that you hadn't mailed off in some time or even just relax on a pillow and give us yourself some comfort not just on Mother's Day but every day we all deserve a place of peace relaxation 
and comfort. Now, you go and have a fantastic, fabulous, restful, enjoyable day with your family, friends, children. Take some time out and have some fruit, maybe even a red pear. That's the tip of today. Pears have antioxidants, plenty of fiber and vitamin C. So happy Mother's Day to you. If you're a mother, and even if you're not a mother. Stay blessed and stay well. Bye-bye.